are taking Joy seat also. Joy is uh, among the uh, coal belt constituencies. So coal mining is a, uh, is a contentious uh, issue here. So how does TMC uh, plan to tackle this issue? Here, uh, especially when West Bengal is fighting its own battle. Uh, look, when it's, look, I'm not a political astrologer. I don't know who said they'll fight. Obviously, whenever any candidate is fighting a seat, any candidate is fighting a seat, they're obviously going to come out, you know, saying that I'm going to obviously win the seat or go all out to win the seat. So there's nothing wrong with a candidate going all out to win a seat. Nobody comes into a seat when I'm fighting an election. I will not come out and say that, oh, I, I may win or I may not win. Obviously, when I come into a seat, I'm going to beat. So the candidate who is fighting Dubai, of course, is giving it his or her all and will fight the seat. But having said that, I'm not a political astrologer. It depends on the people of Meghalaya and what mandate they will give. So we hope and pray that they will give us the highest mandate. But ultimately, it is the will of the people. That's number one. As far as illegal coal mining is concerned, this is something that we feel very strongly about. And you know, these are issues in every state where there are minerals, whether it's Jharkhand, whether it's Bengal, whether it's Meghalaya, it comes with its own uh, in, in. But The question is, is there a political way to fight it? Is there a political way to put it out? And I think in Bengal, we've come down very heavily on this. And you know, there are systems in place to do this. There is no question that the Trinamul is light on, co on, illi on illegalities of sand mining and coal mining. So I don't think there's anything to worry on that front.